In this video, we'll be talking about fault tree analysis by applying on a specific process. We're given with a top event, that is flammable mixture to a reactor. As the process is simply the reaction of liquid ethylene and air, there are necessary contributors affecting the failure moods and their corresponding probabilities. The failure rate data here helps us to see the possible failures throughout this system. As can be seen, here the control valve, pressure control, level control, flow ratio control, then ESD sensor and valve, filter and air blower filter predicted to fail. Therefore, we're asked to define the frequency of the top event, that is, flammable mixture to a reactor. Our precursors are air blower, valve, sensor, controller and filter failures, which are connected to this top event, with AND gate. And the AND gate here shows that all precursors must happen or fail to result a top event. However, there is a problem to define the frequency. We have to determine the frequency of the top event, but all the precursor likelihoods are given as the frequencies. And according to the math behind AND gate, we can say that to find the frequency, likelihood of all precursors should be multiplied, but only one of them can be frequency, so others should be given as probability. Because, think in a mathematical way, if you multiply two frequencies of 0.5 and 0.3 per year, then your result will be 0.15 per year squared, but it doesn't provide the correct data, right? So, to define the frequency of the top event, just keep one frequency for one of the precursors and find the probabilities for others. In another question, how to determine the probabilities using the provided frequencies? It's quite simple actually. You will divide the frequency of an individual equipment failure to the total frequency of all failures. Let's use this formulation to find the probability of air blower fails. The frequency of air blower failures divided by the total frequency of all provided failures. And employing the same formula for other failures, we can easily determine the probabilities of other failures. Here, as mentioned previously, one of the failures should be expressed with frequency, not probability. So here, let's keep filter fail option as frequency. Then to calculate the frequency of flammable mixture to a reactor using AND gate, all likelihoods are multiplied. A result say, within here, the probability of flammable mixture to your reactor is 1.25 by 10 to power negative 4. Then, what is next? After this, the base events to precursors can be converted from frequency to the probability, because all the precursors are connected to their events with OR gate. That means if precursor likelihood is given with probability, all connected events have to be expressed with probability as well. Now, let's calculate the probability for controller fail. That equals to the sum of probabilities for pressure, level and flow ratio controllers. Then using this, we can find out the probabilities of each contributor to fail in controller. And very well done. We have determined all likelihoods and constructed our fault tree. Next time, be ready for the likelihood analysis of this example.